been a fantastic series of sessions and it looks like we have another plenary speaker entering the studio now. Digital anthropologist, tech strategy alchemist, talent space maker and next gen collaborator Lisa Smith. Welcome and we're joined by Puneet as well. Hi both. Hi Lisa. Thank you. So we had lots of interest and lots of questions from your session this morning. The QR code was blowing up. Um, so one of the questions that we had from our delegates was, you were kind of describing it's important for leaders to be brave, yes. to be vulnerable. How does kind of psychological safety um, kind of play a factor here in culture in the workplace yeah, yeah. to allow these traits? Well, I think a couple of things. I think. Um, when we talk about psychological safety, that's just sort of a very intentional acknowledgement that all things can be spoken about. And I think sometimes we think that's like a process or some you know mechanic. It actually is just a simple acknowledgement that it's okay to admit that you've done something wrong um, because we don't know, we actually need to understand that. So you actually start to seek uncertainty. And if you're seeking uncertainty, you actually need to say, well, in order for me to understand that, how I can help you, you need to create an environment that invites that in. So that is how I would sort of encourage people to really think about what psychological safety is. It's really just a leader saying, look, because we don't know, I need to know everything that goes wrong, not the things that are going right. And that then is a function of psychological safety because you're now saying they're actually asking me for the red things, not the green things in the paper, right? So I think that's sort of my view on that. That is fantastic. And it makes so much sense, right? It's, yeah. it's a big word, but actually it means something fairly, fairly simple, right? Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. I mean, we had a client that they have these things called red talks. Red talks. Like, yeah, just red talks. <laughs> like, come in this meeting and talk about what's red. Love and that. if that doesn't set up psychological safety, I don't know what it is because you're really saying, we know things exist. How might we actually solution those? We talk about impediments are not in the path, they are the path. So let's, it's just a little bit of a mindset, right? It's back to mindset. Bit of a shift, right? It's a bit of a shift. Fantastic. Fantastic. Take those things out. <laughs> Super. Well, well I'm really excited to learn about. So I know that you both, Penny and Lisa, work together internally <laughs> at Deloitte. This on... is probably like the closest we've worked work physically, not been Fantastic. Together, right? all, all, all virtual, right? So uh... <laughs> it has been, our whole relationship has been virtual. Oh. Virtual. Well, tell us a bit more about what we're doing in the diversity and inclusion space at Deloitte. Do you want to go first? No, you or? go for it. Uh, well, I think a couple of things. I think I had the pleasure of being uh, invited to be our consulting uh, sort of service line lead a couple of years ago now, right before the Black Action Plan started. Yeah. And that really had a very different purpose, which was, and we knew there was some really good work happening across our business. Um, and we had someone changing out that role, and so I got an amazing note from Jackie and Puny saying, you know, would you mind taking that on? And I think one of the first big challenges we had is then moving into what we call moving with impact, which was like the first response to uh, what happened to uh, George Floyd's death. That became sort of our big pinnacle of like, how are we gonna move this across the firm? Um, so I would say the Black Action Plan, now what we call the Black Experience, is, uh, back to being a headliner and probably a pretty big focal point of the Ethnicity Council, along with um, maybe a shift in mindset that the Ethnicity Council isn't maybe just about steering anymore. Um, it's probably a little more skin in the game, which is how are you accountable across all service lines in the business for ensuring that there's equal and consistent experiences and then achieving things like our diversity target. So I would say those are some headliners right now. You know, we always focus on workability, which is our uh, sort of headliner of um, diversity. And we have some big focuses on trans awareness, which is part of our LGBTQ+. Um, and then I would say from a race awareness perspective, we've put the Black Action Plan, now known as the Black Experience, back headline because the talent felt like there was still more work to do around that. So tell us a little more about having diversity very visibly yes. in the leadership of every organization. What's your, what's your thinking on that? Um, you mean as it relates to us getting more representation? Us, 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 and, and you know the wider sort of world out there, right? Yeah, I think um, a couple of things. I think, I mean, to be honest, uh, there's probably a bit more uncomfortable conversations that need to happen around. Yeah. First of all, the why. Like I was our first black partner in consulting, 
which is kind of crazy given how diverse I believe the UK and particularly London is, right? Absolutely. And I'm also not local, right? That's there's also a, another thing, right? I've relocated to to the UK, but I think in that um, we've checked a box. But even when I'm communicating to a Pune sometimes, I said, you know, I actually need your sponsor. I just sent him an email a couple of weeks ago, and he asked me if I wanted to do something. And I said, thank you for thinking of me, because That's I really actually nice. need your sponsorship more now yeah. than I did on the other side. And I think... It's fantastic a- to see that sponsorship. I'm going to have to cut us off there. We could okay. talk about this for days and days. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for in the studio.